Well, the camp was started in uh, the mid-twenties by a lady named Dubois, and she ran it for, oh, to about 1940, sold it to a uh, writer, uh, Richard Marinas, who wrote the book Crazy White Man, and uh, then after that there was Linton, and then Wally Kistler, then my dad bought it in 1970. And my dad ran it for uh, nine years, passed away, so I took it over and I'm still running it. Well, on the island we have uh, seven cabins. Most of them sleep 10 to 12 people. We built a new lodge a couple years ago. It's a building two-story, 30 by 40. And we have uh, eight outpost camps total. Uh, Lake St. Joe, um, Carling, Ragged Wood, Root Lake. Over in Vaughan Lake, which is part of Lac Sewell. Uh, my wife's got one out in Minnetonka we use. and. Uh, Roadhouse Lake. Roadhouse. So, all, out of all of those outposts, um, the one on St. Joe, um, your guests pretty much uh, drive up to uh, the landing and they, they boat over to the camp. The other ones are all fly-ins, correct? Uh, the one on Vaughn Lake, we uh, drive over within eight miles of it and then we boat in to the camp from there. In uh, 1988, they went to a slot size for the walleyes and also the northern, which really helped uh, the numbers of fish uh, that are good spawners stay in the lake to spawn. Uh, and we see that, saw the fishing increase uh, in high numbers uh, first year, not so much, but the second, third year, we were catching maybe 10 to 20 walleyes a day in the slot, and now we can catch as many as probably 40 to 80 walleyes in the slot. So we know that helped the, the spawning or the breeding population. Okay, the main facility is on Abram Lake, but that connects to a vast network of lakes, correct? Yes, yeah. Uh, Minnetaki, three and a half miles away, that's a 46,000 acre lake. We go through Pelican, which is around 6,000 acre lake, and then it leads us into Lac Sewell, if you want to leave here by boat, that's a 400,000 acre lake. <laughs> I actually didn't know that you could actually uh, navigate by boat all the way into Lac Sewell from here. So it's an endless amount of water, and as an angler, I'm usually searching for venues on larger bodies of water because um, if I tend to get bored, uh, this is a great place if you like to explore. Our, our guide boats, uh, we have a Stanley barge. We take great big groups out of 8 to uh, 15 people at one time. It's 26 feet long and it's got a front end drop on it so it's easy for you know elderly people to walk in and walk out for shore lunch. And it's very uh, comfortable when you're fishing because you get to walk around, you don't get stiff. And then our other boats, uh, we've got a couple 22-foot crest liners, and we fish four to six people out of those. Then we got a 19-foot crest liner, and our, we got a few uh, kingfisher boats with 50s and 60s on we use here uh, for rentals, and then we have some 16-foot for uh, with 20s to 25s to 40 horse uh, motors on them. Very good. <coughs> Sounds like you got a nice fleet of boats. So. Lake St. Joe, <coughs> we put people in there, <coughs> excuse me, on opener if we can. But sometimes we're iced out till maybe is uh, almost the first of May, or excuse me, the first of June. And what happens then, uh, if we have any openings beyond that, we try to get the guys booked back in. But the guys that go in on the first uh, couple trips are usually after the large northern pike. And we got groups that go in there and they'll catch 150 each in the seven days of there and they're over 36 inches. And some as big as 46, 48 inches. Wow. And, uh, and they just use daredevils. Uh, it's a barbless lake, so you have to pinch every bar, but they catch their walleyes while they're fishing for northerns. Because <laughs> everything, excuse me, is shallow that time of year. In that particular camp on Lake St. Joseph, um, I've heard a lot about it. I've um, I heard nothing but good things about it. It's, it's really a deluxe cabin, isn't it? That it, one there? It is, yes, it is, yeah. And yeah, we went to a large extent just to make it so comfortable if they do have bad weather they feel comfortable that being in the cabin all day. Okay, Carling Lake is a walleye, uh, northern Lake Trout Lake. It's about uh, 7,000 acres and you, it's a lake uh, where you really don't get bored. There's so much water and, and narrows and you can go as far as 17 miles one way from the cabin. So uh, there's plenty of bays to fish and uh, the biggest uh, trout caught out of there so far in the last few years 28 pounds which was released. Uh, the walleyes will run anywhere from 15 inches to 28 inches. Northern pike are uh, 
Oh, most of them are probably five pounds up to 30 pounds. Wow, that sounds amazing. And it's a deep lake, uh, a little clearer than most, but still stained a little bit. And Raggedwood, which is uh, about a mile and a half to the southeast, uh, that's 13 miles long, a 3,000 acre lake. That's got 105 feet of water for total depth, but the most of the fish are caught probably 30 feet or less. Real good walleye lake. Uh, and most of the walleyes there average probably uh, 17 to 22 inches. We do get 28s and 30s out of there occasionally. We do get the odd lake trout. <clears throat> and uh, Root Lake, which is our smallest lake, and it's good for novice fishermen. Uh, it's about three miles long, and uh, you really don't need live bait there. And uh, most uh, two uh, people, in, uh, usually parties of two to four go in there. Uh, they'll average probably 50 to 100 walleyes a day just on artificial bait, and you don't fish any deeper than 10 feet for them. That sounds perfect. So it's a high numbers lake. It is, yeah. And the fish run there are probably 15 to 19 inches on an average, the walleyes. And there are big northerns in there too. Which is your pretty much your typical northern Ontario walleye. But, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah real good eating fish. Yeah. And then there are camp over in Vaughan Lake. <coughs> That's uh, connected to Lac Sewell, so you have the, <coughs> the large. Body of water, if you don't want to fish vine, you can go out and fish the big lake. And over there you got walleyes, northerns, perch, smallmouth bass, and muskie. And we do guided trips over there, uh, uh, I'd say four, four days a week. And we get big groups, so people bring their, their grandkids and kids up there. Uh, everybody can catch fish. It, it, doesn't take, it takes very little skill, there are so many fish in the lake. Tori last year, my son who guides for me, he guides this group out of South Dakota and there's 15 of them and they averaged uh, in three days of fishing over 1200 walleyes. You guys have been amazing hosts. The whole experience was incredible and I really would just like to thank you Dick. You're welcome. For a great trip. Thank you sir.